What's it guys? Today we're taking a look at the Intel Nook i7 against the Geekom Mini IT11. These are both pretty much identical in specifications, but which one is best? I always get people asking me this question, and also a lot of people always say, just buy an Intel Nook. So this is what we're going to look at today. Now I've done a, quite a few mini PC reviews, and I thought I'd make this video just to show you guys the difference between Intel Nooks and also the Geekom Mini IT11. So here they are in their boxes. When you buy them, they'll come packaged exactly like this. I'm just going to remove this from its cover and we can take a closer look at the actual mini PC itself. And then we'll take a look at the Intel Nook i7. So they're both identical in height and size. As you can see on the front here, we have the USB 4 and we also have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port on here and the speaker input and the power button. On the side, we have some ventilation and our Kensington lock here. On the back, we've got our power input. We also have our mini display port, our Ethernet port, our HDMI port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port on here as well, two of those. And we have another USB 4 port on the back here. So that is the actual Geekom uh, system here. So pretty decent specs, as you would expect for a mini PC. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll show you the Intel and we'll can match this up as well. Now, we also have a card reader on the side here. This is an SE card reader. But let's take a look at the uh, Intel Nook. Now, both of these machines have the 11th generation Intel chip in them, i7 1165G7, which is 2.8 gigahertz base clock and 4.7 gigahertz turbo with four cores and eight threads. We have the ventilation up the top. We have our power input here, and we also have that mini HDMI input here. And we also have our ethernet port on there as well. We have two USB 3.2 Gen 2. We have two of those, and also we have our USB 4, and we also have a HDMI port. So exactly identical, as you can see here. You would think they've been made in the same factory, and they probably have, because when you look at it, we have our SD card reader here on the side, we also have that ventilation and the same thing with our Kenston lock and also some more ventilation. And on the front, we have a similar uh, front display as well. And it also has USB 4 on the front. Now, there's a couple of main differences. Uh, the Intel does have a better Ethernet port on it, which is 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port on the Intel and only a 1 gigabit Ethernet port on the Geekon version. Also, one of them has Bluetooth 5.1, which is the Intel and also the Geekom has Bluetooth 5.2. So not much difference there. Other than that, the specifications are pretty much the same. Uh, the RAM inside has a 3200 megahertz RAM, same thing for the Geekom, 3200 megahertz RAM. They are expandable up to 64 gigabytes on the Geekom. I'm not sure what the Intel goes up to, but I know Geekom can go up to 64. They both have 16 gigabytes of RAM installed on these uh, systems. Both have the same Wi-Fi sort of card in them, same sort of speeds. Other than that, I do think they're pretty much even on that sort of side of things. So what else do you get in the box? Well, you get a bag for the Geekom, which to me is not a real big selling point, but you do get a, a felt bag in there, some documentation, and also down the bottom here, we do have a power brick, a power cable, and a HDMI cable, and also a VESA mount or wall mount. Let's take a quick look inside the Intel box here. And again, you're going to get some documentation here. And we also have a, a warranty with the Intel one here of up to uh, three years. We also have a wall mount or VESA mount here. And we also have some screws just like inside the Geekom. And we also have a power brick and power cable and a sticker. So basically, that's what you're going to get in both of these. They both have the same brand of power brick. I will show you the power values of these. So you can see the Intel power adapter is quite bigger. It's Intel 19 volt, 6.32 amps, 120.0.8 watts. And on the Geekom, you can see it's a bit slimmer, a bit smaller, and uh, it's the same manufacturer. And uh, we'll take a look at the specifications for the Geekon one here, if that's what interests you. We've got the 19 volts, 4.74 amps and 90.06 uh, watts. 
So the power adapter on the Geekom is a little bit thinner and smaller and a little bit less uh, stats on it compared to the Intel one. So having a look at the actual computers themselves, you can see they're both identical in looks and shape and size. They look exactly the same, even the same cutouts and everything is there where it's been machined and made. But you can see it looks exactly the same uh, as the Geekom and the Intel together. All the markings are the same as well. So it makes me wonder whether these are made in the same factory and they've just got slightly different parts in them maybe or they've just been rebranded as an Intel and also a Geekom. I really don't know. So looking inside here, you can see they've got crucial RAM inside here. Uh, the NVMe drive is different on this one. They've both got 512 gigabyte um, NVMe drive in them, but one's an Intel and one's a Lexar. Uh, so Intel has the Lexar and also the uh, Geekom has the Intel version of uh, NVMe. Now completely forgot to do the speed test. Uh, but pretty sure they're both going to be pretty decent speeds on the NVMe drives. They are Gen 4 uh, NVMe drives, so pretty decent. The cooling on them is pretty much the same. They've both got a different color plate on them and also different size thermal pad, but pretty much the same. The memory is exactly identical. So really what you're getting here is an Intel Nook and a Geekom that look pretty similar. We'll take a look at the prices in a second and I'll run some benchmarks here. I just wanted to quickly look here at the actual RAM itself. There we go. Just checking the camera there, but yeah, exactly the same. Both can accept SSD drives in here, so you can put an SSD in both of these up the top. They've both got that little holder there for them. Just putting this RAM back. And again, it's just going to come down to cost really. And because the performance has the same processor in here so i don't think there's going to be much difference between the two when you do a benchmark i'll do that in a second but it's going to come down to basically the cost and how much they cost and you can probably guess that the intel is probably going to be that little bit more expensive the thermal pads a little bit better on the uh, geekom but that's no big deal i mean they're not that expensive and the actual cooler on them is a slightly different color but the same sort of plate on there really to keep the NVMe drive uh, cool. So this is the Geekom website here. I just want to quickly show you the pricing for this so you can see what the price is between the Geekom and the uh, Intel Nook so you can get an idea of what they cost. But these are the specifications on their website that you can see here. Let me quickly uh, show you the pricing for these. Now this is on the website which is the price of making this video you can see here it is $549 and that is for the actual next version up so let me quickly change this over to this one here which is the one we're comparing it against which is the one next to it here this one and that should be a slightly cheaper price than $549 here so it should be here you go $539 so that's exactly how much that one's going to cost you uh, let's have a look at the uh, Nook, Intel Nook. They've both got the same specs on them, remember, and uh, we'll take a quick look at the uh, Nook price. So on the Intel Store website on Amazon, it says Windows 11, but it does have Windows 10, which is upgradable to uh, Windows 11. Uh, the Geekon version does come pre-installed with Windows 11, so you don't have to upgrade. But the price is £829.99. So so all those people that do say uh, that Intel Nook are better, I'm pretty sure in this video you can see they're pretty much very similar. Uh, so do your research when you're looking to buy a mini PC because they do cost quite a bit of money. And I will do a full review of the Intel Nook as well so you can see the specifications and the performance of it compared to uh, the uh, Geekom because I've already done one on the Geekom and you'll be able to compare the two mini PCs together. So this is the actual uh, Geekbench score 1586 also 4356 for the multi-core that's for the geekom mini it 11 and i'll quickly run the same benchmark on the intel nook as well i'm pretty sure they're going to be the same uh, within margin of error there might be a slight difference in them but if i rerun the same test on a geekom it will give me a slightly different score uh, you do that three times and you'll get an average score but they're both going to be performing exactly the same in my personal opinion i can't see it being a massive difference but we'll run the geekbench 5 test here so you can see 1535 on a single core 
and 5,468 on the multi-core. So it's slightly better from the Intel, but it's all within margin of error. So if I run the test again, it'll probably be slightly lower or slightly higher. And the same thing for the Geekom. It'll just keep changing. So they're very close together. Very, very little difference. So no real major difference between the two, apart from the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port compared to the 1 gigabit Ethernet port on the Geekom. Again, they could update this uh, within weeks or months because they always update their hardware, so it could change in the very near future. So if there's a deal breaker for you and you want to pay $300 for the privilege of that, then by all means do so. But again, I'll leave the information and links in the video description for both of these. Uh, they are pretty good. I will make a full review of the Intel Nook i7, uh, so stay tuned for that one, and then you can uh, look at both of those videos and see the performance difference between the two you'll be able to see a much more in-depth review. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who will join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video. I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.